You know, it was once said that everything looks better in slow motion, and I don't exactly disagree. Everything does seem to look awesome and better in slow motion. The ability to slow down time and highlight an exciting moment is a must in anyone's filmmaking toolbox. However, what about fast motion video or high frame rate video as it's sometimes referred to? Uh, high frame rate video can also highlight an exciting moment in real time by making the video as crisp and clear as possible so you see every single action moment in perfect clarity. The thing is though, slow motion video and high frame rate video are actually the exact same thing. Confused yet? Well, don't worry because in this video we're going to look at the differences between slow motion and high frame rate video. So, sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Demon. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you tuning in. In this video, we're going to be looking at high frame rate video versus slow motion video. How they're both the exact same thing while being entirely different. And don't worry if that sounds confusing. By the end of this video, you'll know the differences between the two, how to film high frame rate video or slow motion video, and when the best time is to use either or both when filming with the camera. Now, before I begin, if you could do me a solid favor and hit those like and subscribe buttons, I'd really appreciate it. This is a small independent channel and you hitting like and subscribe really helps out. It doesn't cost you a thing to do so and it only takes a few seconds. Also, I'd like to announce that since we're coming up to the first milestone of nearly 2,000 subscribers, there's going to be a giveaway to celebrate. Now, this will be some exclusive Demon View swag and what could possibly be the greatest piece of technology in the world, possibly. I don't know, I actually haven't reviewed it yet, but the lucky winner will be getting their hands on the review model, so be on the lookout for that when we hit 2k subscribers. This will be a fun, cool giveaway, and I'll announce the details of that giveaway when we hit 2k. And if you don't want to wait, hit like and subscribe now to get us to that figure even sooner. Okay, on with the video. You've probably all heard of slow motion video. You know the types of shots where things slow right down to a half speed, quarter speed, or one eighth normal speed, and it really highlights an epic moment or a fun scene in the video. It can look stunning, and honestly, it can be a lot of fun to film in slow motion video. So how is it accomplished? Well, this one is fairly simple, and it involves some very simple math. When you're watching what I'd refer to as a normal speed video, you're watching a video that's recorded at 30 frames per second and then played back at 30 frames per second. Now, what this means is that for every second of video recorded, there are 30 individual pictures that make up that one single frame of video or one second of video. Well, when it comes to slow motion video, you can actually be filming at a much higher frame rate, such as 60 frames per second. However, you would then edit the video so it plays back at 30 frames per second, and this will result in you having half speed slow motion. If you record it at 90 frames per second and then play it back at 30 frames, this gives you one third speed slow motion. Recording at 120 frames per second, playing back at 30 frames per second, this gives you a quarter speed slow motion. And finally, recording at 240 frames per second and playing back at 30 frames per second gives you one eighth speed slow motion. Now, the reason we film at a higher frame rate for slow motion shots is that if you filmed at a normal 30 frames per second and then slowed that footage down to one quarter speed, you would end up with 7.5 frames per second. Now, this would look unnatural and more like a slow paced slideshow more than smooth video. So you really want that playback video for a slow motion shot to be 24 or 30 frames per second, depending on your playback. And that's just so it looks smooth and natural looking. And that is the very simple math behind slow motion explained. So why not shoot at 240 frames per second all the time and then just slow down the parts you want? Well, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, you're creating some really large file sizes when you shoot at a higher frame rate. I mean, let's say you record at 30 frames per second, then you have a normal file size. If you record at 240 frames per second, then you're essentially creating file size that could be up to eight times larger. So you could end up running yourself out of SD card space due to the amount of information that you're capturing with every second. Then number two, it's a lot more strain on your camera to shoot at such a high frame rate. So this is gonna require more battery power and drain your battery even faster. And then number three, since your camera is working harder, it's gonna heat up a lot faster too and nobody wants their camera to overheat. And number four, the higher frame rate you use, the less time there is for light to hit the sensor of your camera. So higher frame rates require even more lighting too low light and too high frame rate and you end up having a lot of ISO noise in your footage. So when it comes to shooting slow motion video, it's always best to do it in short bursts. This not only combats all the above listed points, but it also speeds up your editing process as now you don't have to wade through 
gigs worth of footage just to find that one single shot that you want. Now, that's the basic explanation of slow motion video. So what about high frame rate video? Well, high frame rate video is something that you may have seen a lot in TV shows or movies, but didn't know what it was called. For instance, in scenes of fast action where you really want clear details showing up in an action scene to ramp up that feeling of speed, you'd film at a higher frame rate to eliminate motion blur. So if I film a water hose spraying water at 30 frames per second, you're going to see water spraying and that's fine. However, if I film the same scene at a higher frame rate, not only do you see the water spraying, you also see the individual water droplets in the spray. And this is because at a much higher frame rate, you're eliminating motion blur and now every single detail looks crystal clear. So when you're watching an action movie and see two people fighting or see some bullets striking the ground, that type of thing, this is usually filmed at a much higher frame rate than 30 frames per second to get that clarity and sense of action. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like the exact same thing in slow motion. You're shooting at a higher frame rate. Well, you're right. It is the exact same thing. The difference is that you're recording it in a high frame rate, but you're also playing it back at the same frame rate it was recorded in. So if you record something at 60 frames per second, you're going to play back that file at 60 frames per second. If you record in 120 frames per second, you're going to play back that file at 120 frames per second. This means that you don't get a slow motion effect since you're playing back the file at the exact same speed it was originally recorded at. So your speed stays at a normal speed, but you're just getting much sharper, clearer images. And that's it. That is the simple difference between slow motion video and high frame rate video. How they're essentially the same thing when being filmed, but the difference is how it's played back or rendered if you're doing an edit. So when should you use slow motion versus a high frame rate video? Well, honestly, that's an artistic choice for you, the creator. Slow motion is good for highlighting a very specific piece of action, like the scoring of a goal, creating fire effect, or something that only happens for an instant, but you want that instant to last a lot longer in film. With high frame rate, think of a much longer action set piece, such as a fight scene, a motocross bike race, something where there's a lot of consistent action going on and there's very high motion. You don't want blurring, and the most important part is you don't want to break up the pace by having the whole thing filmed in slow motion and you know playing back in slow motion. A good example of this would be a boxing match for instance. You're filming in a high frame rate to highlight the speed at which each opponent is throwing a punch. Using a high frame rate is excellent for this. However, if you were to shoot this as a slow motion piece, you wouldn't end up with an exciting fast fight. You'd end up with everything being slow, boring and dragging on for ages. However, you could combine the two. So film the fight in a high frame rate video, but when someone lands that knockout punch, then you can slow down that one single punch to slow motion. And remember, you can do this since filming at a high frame rate and slow motion are the exact same thing. It's just that one single punch scene that you're gonna slow down that play back to 30 frames per second to make that knockout punch seem a lot longer. However, remember filming in high frame rates are gonna put a lot of strain on your camera, drain your battery and fill up your SD card. So it's a good plan to have things thought out in advance, know when to use high frame rates and when not to. Do that and you'll soon be a master cinematographer when it comes to using higher frame rates. And there you go, the difference between high frame rate and slow motion video. Why they're both the same thing, yet completely different. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure you click on those like and subscribe buttons. You're really helping out this channel by doing so and it doesn't cost you a single thing to do, so it's a win-win. So thanks again for watching, come back soon and check out for the announcement of Demon View's upcoming giveaway. You never know, you could be the winner. And let's face it, the odds are way better than winning the lotto. So until next time, cheerio. Thank you.